Okay, so this is just a quick video to demonstrate uh, the Amiga 1200 running a program called Sound Probe. Uh, I'm going to be running an SR16 through it. You can hear the original beat here. And then we're going to now hear it coming through the Amiga. Uh, this first one I'll do is one called Scratch. It's basically uh, like record noise. So we turn on the real time. Um, option. You can increase the amount of popping and scratching. So, and these are various, there's all kinds of effects. There's a delay, for example, here. You can play with these different parameters, of course, changing offset and such. So you can just play with those settings. Um, there's distortions. Uh, for example, you can do a blur. And then you can increase these values. And you just do. do amplify. the range so yeah um, you got various flanges and choruses this would actually sound pretty cool uh, flange or tri chorus uh, I think a big sweep sounds pretty cool let's see what happens So yeah, it's really neat. Uh, there's just a lot of different interesting programs. I mean, they're all very standard sounds, but I think what I find interesting is the parameters that they provide, but also the fact that everything that goes into this comes out 8-bit. So um, you know, you have filters as well, filtering, low pass, which of course is very straightforward, which you can set down here. You can change it here, you can increase this. Yeah, those say, but it has to. There's certain frequency uh, limitations. For example, the sample rate that it's working at. Uh, if you go over here to Windows and Monitor, you have various. Um, you can choose what sample rate you're working at, like what's monitoring at. So let's go to here. Twenty. I think it's twenty kilohertz or twenty hertz. Twenty kilohertz, and then you click Monitor. So this is just a real time. There's no effect being applied to it, other than what you're of course hearing it be affected by. You have various, which is also kind of fun. You have different ways of displaying the information, hi-fi, LED, bar graphic, let's see what that looks like. So, just to give you an idea of what's going on, there's a, I think it's using like a spectrum analyzer of sorts. Let's see, man, yeah, multi, multi scope. let's try that one. Actually, spectrum analyzer. There we go. So, this gives you an idea of what's going on, and, um, yeah, so it's just an interesting program to tinker with as far as running sounds through it. Uh, what else? Is there anything else here I think that's interesting? Uh, the flanges. Echoes. you got various other echoes. There's a reverse one. Let's see what this does. Let's mess around with that a little bit. Attenuation. Take it down. Uh, too long. Oh, yeah. Too many echoes. So yeah, so it's just an interesting program that I think is from like 1997. So, so yeah, um, anyway, so I thought it was a fun program to mess around with and um, still have a lot to learn about it. It's definitely one of those programs where if you don't know what you're doing, as far as the settings, you can definitely make it not behave itself. I had to reinstall the program the other day because I basically made some setting change in the... Um, probably somewhere in the hardware drivers. You know, this is software that was written back in the day where you could really, you know, mess things up if you didn't know what you were doing. So the manual is very important, which I don't have handy. So anyway, thanks for watching.